and we're back for another video on another beautiful day. Today's a great day because I finally destroyed that bird nest that's been harassing me with this big stick that I got that I used to cook glizzies with over a fire. I just got to clean up the aftermath, um, possibly destroyed an egg right there. But anyway, so we have an SD card right here in a very shady looking envelope. So it's time to update the navigation in the F10. Um, the maps in it are like seven years old. This whole area right here is all newer, like apartment complexes, and it doesn't even show up in the navigation. Um, it's just like land right here. It's, there's no roads or anything. Um, so I think Beamer Code wanted, or not Beamer Code. The one website, uh, they wanted like $160 though the, the website with the blue it's beam or something um they wanted 150 160 something like that for navigation maps um i heard they send them to you in a nice pretty box and all that stuff like that but 150 60 dollars that's that's money i found this on ebay this is somebody that has good reviews they said they will uh send you the update for your car it was like 50 bucks and They'll send you the update now, update the navigation for your car. Um, and after about a week, I got it. So as you can see, we have this very un-American looking envelope with no return address. Okay, we're back, my neighbor said hi. Um, but anyway, it came from Romania. I'm covering up the destination because that shows my address, but there's no return address as you can see. This is a very un-American envelope from the shade of color. There's this weird looking stamp and then there's this Romanian stamp. Um, but they sent me this. So, um, they put the last couple digits of the VIN, um, and then my, like, car, and it shows the BMW 2023 next, whatever, it's a, it's SD card. So we're going to go put it in the BMW right now and see what happens. Um, I'm assuming you just plug it into the USB port and then let it do its thing, but we're going to figure that out. Also, the car is currently a mess, don't yell at me. I've been doing some things and I've been a busy boy. So first we're gonna start the car. Get open the windows. It's kinda of hot in here. We have a burn screen in the in the screen by the way. But we're gonna open this up. Let's get my debit card out of the way. And we should have a USB port right here. So logically, you take this. So it's a, like he opened it, not me. This has already been opened. That's how you know he like messed with it. Now there could also be like a virus on here or like pornography or something, but we, we don't really know. But it's 64 gigabyte. We're gonna plug it in. Cause we're gonna hope that this Amazon or this eBay seller is legit, right? So, oh, first you're supposed to open up the maps. So let's open up the maps. There we go. Let's actually close full screen mode or the widescreen. Let's go back to widescreen. So we're on widescreen right now. You can see the burn marks in the screen, by the way. That. anyway but as you can see right here this whole area is not on the map so this is our test to see if it worked this whole area is not on the map i basically just showed you guys the intersection but it's okay so we're gonna plug this in it's plugged in now and apparently it should take a little bit of time oh oh we got something usb device contains a more recent version of the navigation Start update. Hmm? I, I, don't, I don't know what this is. Uh, okay. What? Hold on. Hold on. Um, does it want me to put the last couple of my VIN in it? Let's try that.
Does that work? What is the activation code? Huh. I don't know. See, didn't give me a... It says next on the box, handwritten. I don't know what that means, but we'll try that. Okay, let me see what I can do. Okay, so we're back in the car. It is now night on the same day. Um, I emailed the seller their their website's uh, Beamer Updates, by the way, or their uh, store name. I messaged the seller. He actually responded in 10 minutes. I didn't expect him to, so I messaged him, and I like jumped in my car and started running errands, and he replied within 10 minutes. So he gave me the code for the navigation. I just put it in. By the way, again, car's a mess. Don't worry about that. Uh, on BMW's, the newer iDrive, you can actually just like scribble right here. Like you can scribble like F, E, I, G, and it all goes through. So we put it in. We're going to hit OK. We're doing this together. Oh, it's working. OK, beautiful. Look at that. We're at 0% right now. So if, if you guys remember when I first started making this video, I said that this whole area I live in is not on the original maps. So that will tell us if the maps worked, if the update worked instantly, is if I start seeing road navigations right here. Um, it's also like one in the morning right now and I don't know why she's taking a walk, but she's taking a walk. Um, we're at 0% right now still. Does this take a while? Oh, we're at 1%, people. We are at 1% right now. We are currently sitting at 1%. Excellent. I don't know how long this is going to take, but we're at 1%. Okay, I'll come back when it's, like, done or almost done. Okay, so now we're currently in my parking garage. It's about five minutes later. The time is currently 1.05. I started this at 1 o'clock, but it's 1.05, and we're at 7%. So, I mean, clearly 8%. It's going to take a while. Um, because it has to update, like, a million years worth of, uh, maps. So, we are going to leave the car running, because I don't know if I'm supposed to turn it off or not. We're going to leave the car running. I'm going to go take a shower. Let's park in my parking garage, it's fine. It locked itself, it's on. We're just gonna leave it here and see what happens. I've actually never like locked this car and just walked away from it. I don't know if it'll like turn off or what, but um, we shut it off and yeah, we're uh, gonna get my keys. You know what's funny is I left my apartment locked over there and I, lo I locked my front door. So if I walk out without my garage door opener right now, I don't have a way of getting in. Basically, is the issue. I have no way of getting in. But I have the garage door opener, so we can get out and we can get in. And we're back. Currently, it's 89%. Um, we are, oh, the time is 156, so it's been 56 minutes, and it's at 89%. So I'm going to drive to work. Um, again, yeah, time is currently 1.56 a.m. You're reading that. Oh, God, I love this gauge cluster. You're reading that correctly. Uh, I'm just a sick bastard who works at night. 90% um, right now. So I was reading online. And people were saying that, like, you probably want to keep the car on. Um, because especially, like, if you don't update every year to year and you... Um, you have like a big chunky upgrade or update like mine because um what's it called because uh they said that it should stop when the car shuts off and when you turn the car back on it should resume but apparently it's it's not doing that it'll pause like some guy was like oh it stopped at 57 percent and it corrupted the file or whatever 
and you have to like reflash the entire system like from BMW. So um, I'm very hesitant on that. So we're gonna just keep the car running until it's done. But um, yeah, I'm gonna drive to work. Clean out the car first. Garbage is right there and then we'll go to work. So the time is currently 2.03 a.m. We're at 99%, we're about to finish. So I cut the camera back on. Um, again, it's gonna be the ultimate test. What's funny is that there's actually people coming home from the bars. Oh, okay, it's starting again. So it took 50, 58 minutes to update the navigation. It is now starting the navigation. Remember, ultimate test is going to see if my nav my street neighborhood shows up. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. It all works. Perfect. Look at that. So this, the reason why it's cut off over here is because uh, the end of the intersection behind me does cut off. There's, it's not really a, a lane. It just goes straight into a parking lot over here. So it worked. That is awesome. Perfect. Look at that. That's super nice. Again, forget about this little burn mark I have over here. That's gonna get fixed. But anyway, dude, shout out to Beamer Updates on eBay. My man, he's a genius. It's very simple to do, just takes a while. Again, um, what is it, Beamer Tech? The main blue website that everyone goes to, I think it's Beamer Tech that sells all the nice stuff. Yes, you can buy theirs and 100% is going to work and we know they have great customer service and it's going to be like $150, $200, something around there. But I, I just got the maps for North America and you guys saw it right here. It worked perfectly. And I paid like 50 or 60 bucks for it, something like that. I think it was closer to 60 bucks. And the guy responded in like 10 minutes. That's what blows my mind because he came from Romania, which means he's probably in Romania since he's the one who sent it from Romania. And now I have a 64 gigabyte SD card. And it works. Excellent. So basically we're just gonna see if anything else changed here. We're gonna go to work. Uh, guidance. Uh, enter new destination. Uh, address book. Let's see. Let's just go to the gym. Let's see if everything shows off. Shows up perfectly. Perfect. Everything works. Look at that. Start driving. Look at that. And it pops up on the navigation perfectly and on the heads-up display. It's displaying it perfectly. Again, Right before we did this update, this road that I'm driving on right now did not show up on the maps. Um, I can't turn this way because of construction, but it's not gonna know that. Um, that road just got closed like a week ago. So I am very happy right now. Uh, I'm very, very happy that the navigation is updated. Um, and uh, yeah, shout out to saving a boatload of money and only paying $60 and now having the newest maps. It's a great feeling. It feel, lets the car feel a little bit more updated now. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember, going on eBay and Amazon is not always going to be this like the scariest thing. Sometimes, if you if you're smart enough, you can get a really good deal when updating your car. Look, right now, these a lot of these roads right here are also brand new, um, and it's it's finding them perfect. Heads up display is working perfectly. Navigation is working perfectly. Nothing's out of the ordinary. This is excellent, guys. This is very excellent. Thanks for tuning in, people.